Well, hello there. I'm hopefully doing both a Facebook Live and recording my video for sharing later. What I wanted to jump on and hear today and share with you a little bit about is I've been doing a lot of thinking about there, there's this new tool that everybody's been talking about, this chat GPT-3, um, which I will get into a little bit more later. I want to combine what I've what I've been learning about that along with what I've been learning about a language learning app called Duolingo, a note that I am not an affiliate of either one, so I don't get anything out of that. But what I do get to benefit from both of these tools is as a consumer, but it's also leading me to think about how we're going to be approaching uh, Web3, uh, NFTs, blockchain technology, virtual reality, augmented reality, and the future of business and lots of other applications. So first, I'm only going to talk today a little bit about Duolingo because Duolingo has been using machine learning since about 2016-ish. Um, and one of the things that they do it is they've got um, a four four um phase uh, way of creating their curriculum and lesson content, and most importantly, um, personalizing the user learning experience to each user. But how do they do all of that, especially the last part, the personalization part? They use machine learning to do it. And so what they're doing is they aggregate tons and tons of data that they're getting from their millions and millions of learners right? And then <clears throat> by using machine learning, learning algorithms that we call these days AI and can be likened to this new AI tool, call, tool called ChatGPT3, but they personalize each person's experience so that you have a certain level of uh, success, a certain level, they don't, the idea is so that you don't get too frustrated to continue, but you have enough, enough success that you have the wins so that you want to continue. It's all kind of a gamification of language learning. Um, and I have to admit, um, I've been pursuing French over almost, almost a year now. And um, for the longest time, you know, I thought I was struggling with it and I was just an idiot. Um, and then when I did my rear, my, they did their year in review for me, I realized they told me I was in the top 1% of learners. That's because there's an interesting mix of frustration levels and wins and success levels. This is something every coach really needs to pay attention to because this machine learning combined with things with called coaching and gamification. And again, these huge data sets, this is where we're all moving to in the future. So, and we're already here in many respects. So we're already using these AI tools, AI, artificial intelligence. It's really machine learning. Let's keep that in mind. Um, all of this is going to help keep our, grow our communities, keep them engaged, um, build relationships, collaborations. I mean, the sky's not the limit. It's the whole galaxy's the limit. This stuff is really amazing. And how does this tie into things like NFTs? Well, NFTs are, you can consider them as a specific application of the freemium model. It's a way to build your ba fan base. They are ways to build your community. Um, the blockchain technology is what makes this possible through the use of smart contracts. And Web3, we're engaging, we'll be engaging with each other through the use of avatars, virtual reality, augmented reality, and just frankly, in real life in, uh, interactions. So I know I'm throwing a whole ton of stuff at you here, but I'm going to be unpacking this um, in videos into my Coffee Cat chat group on Facebook over the next several weeks. So if you'd like to join me there or find me on YouTube, where I'll be posting these videos as well. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> stay positive, stay optimistic. This is this is really cool, fun stuff. And it turns out it's going to be really fun and easy um, as we go through it. So Enjoy and thanks for being with me um, on these videos.